right, so here's a woman who really has taken the sport by storm. Just getting going as far as her UFC career is concerned, but man, the film is favorable. She can do it all. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long for you to recognize that someone has something special. This young lady has something special. She's a fantastic fighter. She's a tremendous grappler, a great wrestler, and she has very good hands. Everything doesn't have to be elite. It's all got to be very, very good. She's very good everywhere. It's special in certain areas. That is well wrong. And that is what we see in this young lady. Certainly a lot of handicappers suggest she'll have an advantage wherever this fight goes, but got to get it done on fight night. Got to rise to the occasion. We'll see if she can do that tonight. Ready for live action, here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kayla Harris. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. So here's Amanda Nunez back for more. She can mix it up with any band weight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if Nunez follows up on those fight week words and puts them into action tonight. early one of the faster starters in the game and really since going to American Top Team full time that has helped her take her career to the next level her future's in the UFC Hall of Fame still a lot of work to do for the Lioness though in the she's got a quick jab there it is tries to work it into a takedown oh beautiful straight right hand those are big strikes Another punch to the head. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar tie. Nunez gets in the clinch yet again. Now these two women separate from the clinch. Have you seen anything like it? About a minute into the fight, these women are balling. They are brawling. Somebody's going to go down. I mean, somebody has to go to sleep. This is impossible to pace to keep. As 
she misses with the left punch there. Nunes gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Good stick. And she lands the double leg takedown. We'll see what she can do with it. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half bar, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control right. anymore because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. All right, so Nunes is in half guard. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's gonna be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as not your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's gotta be very careful. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Ninety seconds to go now. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here. She's got her back now. Lands with the ground and pound here. She continues to go here because it's working. Do not change anything. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because oh, this could be it. Oh, oh great block there. You need to fight back. Brutal ground and pound, and I think she may have opened up a nasty cut. She's got great fighting instincts, right? Reverses position, and now she... She's setting up an armbar here. Armbar. Ooh, she's got the arm locked in tight. She's got it set up. She's in position now. She's got it. I think she's got it. Oh, she's out. Oh, wow. Way to stay calm in a tough situation to defend that armbar. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round two on the way. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Yet another huge kick lands. Got her hurt. Got to look for the finish. <laughs> Nunez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. She knew this would be a problem if she stayed there. She finds her way out of the cliff position. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Gets caught by that 
straight hand. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Nunez gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jet. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her first round. Oh, 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 women in the world. Oh! That leg kick hurt. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, Nunez jabs. She throws her jab and she sticks her chin up in the air when she jabs. She needs to keep that chin tucked when she throws that jab or kick. A lot of her technique leads her chin flying up in the air. And she's getting covered. She does a great job breaking that clutch position. Beautiful hard hook as she presses forward and lands on the kickbox. She lands once again. John, it's her best strike. She has a great hook. And right now, she lands right on the chin of her opponent. What a beautiful jab landing there. Nunez gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Oh, she's going for a submission now. She's so good here, John. Oh, she got that locked in. She has so many tricks in this position. Man, she's got it all done. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the U.S. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbow that she's known for. Ooh, she's got a tank. Right there. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the tank. Oh, my goodness. That has got to feel good. Jeez Louise. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. Really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out, Kayla Harrison. Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party.